So today we are talking to John Bullock. Hi, John. How are you? I'm great, Michael. Thank you for inviting me onto your show. No, it's an absolute pleasure. I've been looking forward to this for a while because you are a bit of a loose cannon, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you think the best possible way. I was going to say it, it, it is a compliment <laughs> somewhere. Um, so the the rule of the show is basically you get ten minutes to talk about your business. After the ten minutes, that's it. End of the conversation. How does that sound? It sounds good enough for me. Good stuff. So your timer has started. So John, first of all, tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do. I'm John Bullock. I'm the pain point coach. I look at pain points within businesses that are holding the teams teams back and I essentially I go in and I change behavior. I'm a behavioral specialist. By changing the pain behavior, we're looking to make the teams optimally perform so they perform more cohesively. They become more productive, more energized and more focused. And, and you've not always been a coach, have you? So where has the inspiration come from, from going from coaching to what you previously did? It's not something I, I, I essentially uh, sold. But in the background, yes, um, I've, uh, as you, most people know, I've spent 25 years within property and property accountancy, and that, that was my sort of specialism. But before that, I'd spent eight, eight years climbing in and out of a kickboxing ring. So I, I was a um, British kickboxing champion, lightweight. I know most people argue about that now, but I, I was definitely lightweight at the time. There's, there's photos and, to prove it, John, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, thank you, Michael. Anyway, um, but I, obviously, I, I coached other people to champion standards as well, so they were competing nationally and, 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 and internationally, you know. And in the background, I, I continue to, to coach that. So I'm, I'm obviously used to uh, coaching people within sport to a high degree and getting the best of them out. I had um, an organisation in the Netherlands called Mind5 contacted me and said, John, with your experience... Uh, why don't you consider our program, the Mind Five program, which was all about experiential learning? It was doing things and learning from it. Now, having been in business and uh, obviously doing sport, I knew from sport the best way to learn from something is just to get in and do it. But I also knew that from business, Michael, and I think that's mm -hmm. an important lesson. Even when I was sort of maybe travelling to London to buy software for um, for the business, whatever it was. Uh, and they'd have these PowerPoint presentations and it's totally, you'd listen to them. I wanted to push buttons. I wanted to know how they navigated from that slide to the other one. How did they actually work? And how did you uh, operate this thing? Because that's the only time you truly do learn. It becomes yeah, an yeah. emotional experience and it's stored on the long-term memory. And because of that, it really interested me. And I, I, I got it straight away. So I went over to the Netherlands. Did, did this training with them. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I thought to myself, well, this is something that I'd really like to bring back to the UK. Mm. And do you, do you obviously, you know, you, from when you started your journey, obviously uh, you've taken on your life experiences. Have you ever missed elements of um, your past, like your sports and, and stuff like that? Or, or do you adapt it into what you're doing now so that you don't miss it because you're still doing what you love doing? That's a great question. And um, <clears throat> look, the reality of it is that nothing stands still. Everything mm. changes. We look around us, nature, everything changes. And we as individuals change at the, uh, uh, all the time. One of the things I realized that five years ago, after building up my property portfolio and whatever else, I'd really lost my passion for what I was doing. And I, I, needed, I needed a dramatic change. When this company in the Netherlands contacted me, it couldn't have come at a better time. And um, it, for, for me, it was like a, a sort of arms and ram. It really comforted me. It took me back to something that I, I, I was really, many, in many respects, more familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, we change, we, we move on. Um, and, and, you know, I, I've changed and, and I've moved on. So I'm not one to really sort of hold on to those things. It's an inevitability to change. We have to accept it. But with the change, if we're growing all the time, 
and will learn something new. So there may be the things I can't do, like the high kicks and things like that I used to do in my, in my younger days, you know, but the, there are new things and you, you look at things differently. You take it from a new perspective, you know. Yeah. And, and I believe, honestly, and with integrity, I believe I'm bringing those experiences to the fore now and helping people, you know, uh, um, especially at large organisations, because I, I I mean, you, you said to me, I, I, I don't like to do things differently. I, I, I like to think of myself as a people person. Yeah, and, man. Um, yeah, yeah first and foremost, I like to be, I'd rather get on with somebody all the time, enjoy the company, share the laugh. Because I'm, for myself personally, if I can enjoy something as I'm doing it, I know I'm going to learn from that experience. Yeah. And that's what I try to bring. So I bring, if you like, almost that emotional intelligence of, enjoying the journey and trying to get what I call business teams in flow. And being flow is, um, is a guy called Mihai, Chicks and Mihai, who came up with this, this term called uh, flow. But I've got a TV documentary when I was talking about this myself personally well in, in 1984, and I called it this harmonious perpetual state of mind whereby we're going through the movements without actually thinking about it, but we're being really productive. Now, what the... Um, Mihai, Chicks and Mihai, not an, not an easy name to say. Hey, do you know what? It's not. I'm glad you're saying it and I'm not. <laughs> it's, he, he, he came up with these, uh, this fantastic programme, and it is absolutely brilliant, and he shows you this... Uh, a evolving matrix how to get you to flow and it's essentially uh, where all your skills and super talents meet your challenges all at the same point and you've probably experienced it Mike I bet there's times you've start you've sort of done your film and your ed editing and all of a sudden you've looked at the clock and you said my god there's four or five hours where are those four or five hours you've not stopped to drink you've not stopped to eat you've just been in that moment yeah, and, and all the thoughts just didn't enter your brain. You were in that moment. Yeah, it's funny. And it's funny that you say that. It's funny that you say. I'm just going to interrupt there because I I, I can relate to that 100 percent because there have been times where I've literally I've been editing till 10, 11 o'clock, and I've not. I started at 12, and I've just been so engrossed in the creation side and the creative side that um, that you know you just get lost, don't you, in a moment. Absolutely, and they're all characteristics of flow. Yeah. My mission, my mission, is they bring all HR departments with their teams, not only making them more cohesive and more focused, mm. but to get them into that state of flow, where the talents are meeting the challenges, and that means, as as a HR manager, you've got to make sure that you're stretching your team slightly all the time yeah. so they have something to achieve, but not so far ahead is that they can't bring their talents to bear and to make sure that the thing that just moves and flows forward. You know, there are mm -hmm. certain characteristics of flow, um, which are having clearly defined goals, uh, doing work that you like, having super talents or matching your talents with the way that you like to do, but having a little bit challenging. It's also great for releasing stress and, uh, and great for eliminating external distractions if you suffer with anxiety. And you speak to somebody who likes colouring, painting, drawing, writing, they will all experience exactly what you've been talking about there. Yeah. Get it into flow. And I think also when you, because I used to do 40, 50 hours a week working in multiple jobs. Uh, I used to work at the Philharmonic Hall. I was a barista at Starbucks and I absolutely loved those jobs. But, you know, I did the whole, can't wait to go home. Is it the weekend? Uh, now, I mean, I work over the weekend because I enjoyed, if I'm working on a project I really enjoy, I will get up early to do it because I want to get back to doing it. And it's, it's, it's weird. Have you found that you've been doing a lot more video uh, yourself? Yeah, oh, oh, here I am <laughs> doing video. I, I mean, of course, that's no doubt that that's a consequence to you yeah. giving me or um, 
and the confidence to move forward and feel confidence again. You, you know, so the challenge of it, as it was initially, I felt very uncomfortable about it, you know, being yeah. short me. And here we are, as soon as we started today, it's John about light, you know, I thought, oh my God, it's a real vibe, you know. And uh, I can see directly, it's, you know, we've got a better contrast than what we yeah. had before, you know. And again, you're bringing your talents to bear. And of yeah. course, that's helping me, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm picking up on that and moving on, yeah. So, Without a doubt, you've helped me that way. I feel more confident uh, yeah. uh, about doing that. And it, it is, I agree with you, it's a great way of getting there. It is, a hundred percent. As you can hear, there's a dog bark in the background and there's nothing I can do about it, but light <laughs> isn't perfect and that's just how it is. And inside, I'm dying inside, but you know, it, it happens, the dog barks. Um, we go with the flow, Michael. We, we go with the flow. It's a very unscripted show. It's, uh, and you know, it is what it is, uh, unfortunately. Um, and there is your timer. It's over. There was so much more I wanted to ask you as well, to be fair. There was so much I thought we could have uh, talked about and gone on about. I, I could easily have chatted with you for 20 minutes. Couldn't, could you have talked longer? Absolutely. Easy. Yeah, it shut me up half the time. <laughs> well, do you know, this is why you know I think it was good having you on the show today because I know that you know we could a conversation could have gone anywhere with me and you. Uh, so thank you very much for coming on to the show. If anybody would like to watch any previous episodes, you can go over to youtube.com forward slash take the cake pro if you want to see the latest videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye